pipsqueak. So what I've got here is when I first got this Yard Max tiller, I tilled this area down here. It's at the bottom of a hill. It's heavy clay soil. All this straw you see came out of the two fig trees that I used the straw to winterize with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to till a path twice as wide as the tiller. Then I'm going to shovel the loose soil over here by the straw and I'm going to make two or three passes so I can get it pretty deep. And what this area is going to be is my new potato patch. So then it will be really easy once I actually plant the potatoes and give it, get them covered up with soil. It will be really easy for me to keep adding soil to them, cover them with straw, whatever needs done. So uh, hopefully I can make this work. So let's get it set up and going. Now, in all fairness, this has already been tilled once. But this soil is actually wet. I think I'm going to need a shovel instead of a rake. Good old wet clay. <clears throat> I'll bring you guys back when I got this part completed. So I'm making some progress. Gonna have to excuse the fact I ain't got a shirt on. I've been 33 minutes so far on this first pass. I'm about to clean up the end here and start on the second one. But uh, it's gotta be done today, so. Failure is never an option. And uh, I know I'm not in as good a shape as I used to be in, but uh, I'm alive. And that's a good thing. So, just have to ignore it. I've lost a lot of weight. All right, so I did take a short break. It's been, since I first started digging this out by hand, it's been about two hours. I did grab a bite to eat, something to drink. Finished clearing out the second pass. I hope these hundreds of flies show up on video. I'm sure they won't, but I hope they do. Um, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of straw in the bottom of this. I'm doing that because potatoes do not like to be soggy. So this will give them something to lay on 
that even if it rains, it's not going to be like clay soil wet. It might be wet, but it won't be clay soil wet. So I'm really not sure where the camera shut off at. But what I did, I put about two or three inches of straw in the bottom of that tunnel or that trench. What I did was I put about two or three inches of straw in this trench. Then I actually laid the seed potatoes in there about six inches or so apart. Then I put more straw on top of the seed potatoes. Then I put about an inch or two of dirt on top of the straw in the seed potatoes. As the potatoes grow, I'll come out here and move some more of this soil to kind of mound them up. And I'll alternate saw, straw. I'll, I will alternate with straw and soil. So that makes it a little bit easier to dig them up too. And, uh, Anyways, today is uh, March 21st, I believe, and we'll come out here and check this out. Total time it took me to till this, dig the trench and everything, according to my watch, 2 hours and 33 minutes. And uh, I planted 8 pounds of seed potatoes in this trench. It's about three and a half feet wide and about 16 feet long so we'll see how it does hopefully i got most of this that i just repeated on camera because i'm gonna be mad if you didn't see me layer that stuff down in this trench that was the whole point otherwise i could have just told you to layer it This is the uh, new potato patch that I started in this really heavy clay soil. The clay soil was so hard you can't even break it up with your hands. And as you can see, there and there and here are all potatoes starting to poke their heads up. And they should continue to start showing up. But it just goes to show you that clay soil, even on a hillside, is good for something. And there's actually a lot of crops you can grow in clay soil. They're perfectly fine with growing in clay soil. And I'll go ahead and put a list up for those crops right now. So if you have clay soil... It doesn't mean you can't put out a garden. You just have to plant the plants that will grow in clay soil. And, uh, you know, there's actually a lot of plants that will grow in clay soil. So don't give up. Just if you, if you have poor soil, you know, don't give up. My whole thought was, even if I plant, I think I put eight pounds of seed potatoes in this trench. So even if I planted those and they rotted in the ground, that would just make it better for next year, right? But uh, these seem like they're going to do okay. And we'll just monitor it through the year. And once they get taller, we'll hill them up. That's actually what the uh, straw and the dirt that's over here is for, is to mound it up as they grow taller. And uh, hopefully we'll have a really nice harvest of potatoes this fall. And uh, time will tell, right? We're in this together. As always, 
Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. I've got all kinds of topics I talk about for homesteading, gardening. I've got over 70 fruit trees in my orchard. I do a lot of wild edibles and recipes related to those like dandelion jelly and redbud jellies. What's been on my agenda this week. Moral mushrooms should start popping out of the ground any day now. And uh, I've also got something coming up for something you can do that a lot of people don't think of. This is actually uh, wild onions. And you can eat them just like green onions. But I got another trick that I've been doing for a couple of years. And I hope to get a video out on that soon. It's going to sound really crazy, but it's really awesome. And I don't want to say what it is just yet because if I do, every other homesteading channel out there will be doing a video on it. I know this is unique because I just kind of invented it one day on the fly. But uh, stick around. I got a lot of stuff coming up. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Happy Gardening 2021 and in the future.